Lectures on Government and Binding, the Pisa Lectures, is a seminal work by linguist Noam Chomsky, which advanced his theory of generative grammar and made significant contributions to the field of theoretical linguistics. The book, which consists of a series of lectures Chomsky delivered in Pisa, Italy, in 1979, marked a turning point in Chomsky's linguistic theory, moving from the earlier transformational generative grammar to the more abstract and principled framework known as government and binding, GB theory. Chomsky's GB theory aims to explain how the human mind produces and understands language through a universal set of rules and principles that are innate to all humans, regardless of the language they speak. This theory is a part of Chomsky's broader conception of universal grammar, UG, a biological endowment that contains the fundamental properties all human languages share. In these lectures, Chomsky outlines the major components of GB theory, which are organized into various modules, each dealing with different aspects of language structure. The core modules include the systems of X-bar theory, theta theory, case theory, binding theory, control theory, and bounding theory, among others. These modules interact to generate the deep structure of a sentence, which is then transformed into the surface structure through a set of movements governed by specific rules. X-bar theory provides a uniform structural schema for phrases in language. According to this paradigm, every phrase has a similar hierarchical structure, with a head, such as a verb or noun, that projects to a bar level, indicated as X, and then to a phrase level, XP. This schema accounts for the recursive property of human language, which allows for the generation of an unlimited number of structures from a finite set of elements. Theta theory deals with the assignment of thematic roles, also known as theta roles, to arguments of a verb such as agent, patient, and experiencer. These roles are necessary for understanding the relationship between the actors in a sentence and the actions they perform or experience. Case theory addresses the need for noun phrases, NPs, to receive a grammatical case in order to be properly interpreted. Cases such as nominative, accusative, and genitive are assigned under specific syntactic conditions and are crucial for the correct operation of syntax. Binding theory explains how different kinds of pronouns, e.g. anaphors, pronominals, and nominal expressions are contextually linked to their antecedents within sentences. This theory establishes the conditions under which NPs are interpreted as co-referring or bound. Control theory examines how and when the subjects of embedded clauses, often infinitival clauses, are determined. It explains the mechanisms by which the subject of the embedded clause is controlled by an element in the main clause, ensuring that sentences are interpreted correctly. Bounding theory, or the theory of movement constraints, specifies the conditions under which certain syntactic movements can occur. This includes the rules governing WH movement, responsible for forming questions and relative clauses, and restrictions such as subjacency, which prohibits movements across multiple bounding nodes thus constraining possible sentence structures. In addition to these principal modules, Chomsky introduces the principles of government and binding as central organizing concepts of the linguistic theory. Government relates to the way certain syntactic elements require the presence of a governing element that provides them with specific properties, such as case or theta role assignment. Binding involves the interactions between pronouns, anaphors, and their antecedents, as governed by the principles of binding theory. Crucially, Chomsky's GB framework is deeply concerned with the modular nature of the mind and language. Each module is characterized by specific principles and parameters, with the latter allowing for the variation observed across different languages. These parameters are set differently based on the linguistic environment an individual is exposed to during language acquisition, leading to the rich diversity of languages we observe while still being underpinned by a common UG. Chomsky's work in this book also extends to the nature of syntactic derivations and the levels of representation in the syntactic structure. The theory posits multiple levels, including deep structure, DS, surface structure, SS, logical form, LF, and phonetic form, PF, each corresponding to different stages in the derivation of sentences. The interaction between these levels and the relevant transformational rules results in the mapping from abstract, underlying structures to the observable, spoken, or written sentences. 
These transformations are guided by the overall principle of economy of derivation and representation, asserting that the language faculty tends to favor simpler, more economical structures over complex ones. In lectures on government and binding, Chomsky also discusses the implications of GB theory for other areas of linguistics, such as semantic interpretation and the study of language acquisition. He emphasizes the compatibility of GB theory with a modular view of the mind, where individual cognitive faculties operate relatively independently according to their specific principles. The book can be seen not only as an exposition of a theoretical framework, but also as an argument for a particular view of the nature of linguistic theory itself. Chomsky advocates for an explanatory rather than descriptive approach, seeking not just to catalog the features of languages, but to explain the underlying mental structures and processes that give rise to them. Throughout the lectures, Chomsky provides empirical evidence from numerous languages to support the universality of the GB theory's principles and parameters. He discusses how different languages may set parameters differently, leading to a variety of syntactic phenomena while still conforming to the overarching structure provided by UG. In conclusion, Lectures on Government and Binding, the PISA Lectures, represents a milestone in linguistic theory, laying the groundwork for subsequent research in generative grammar. Chomsky's development of GB theory significantly advanced our understanding of syntax the mental representation of language, and the principles that govern the complex interplay of linguistic elements. The framework continues to influence and inspire linguistic research, underlining the quest to uncover the universal properties of human language and the cognitive mechanisms behind them.